Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hi! <laughs> thank you so much for tuning in. I hope you like it here. I hope you subscribe. And if you're not new, thank you so much for coming back. First of all, I just want to say, don't you think I look cute? Don't you think I look cute today? <laughs> Anyway guys, in today's video, I'm going to be doing the Christian girl tag. I've seen this tag done on a couple of channels and I just thought, hmm, let me just do it. It's a very chill video. I'm sitting on the floor, best believe. I'm sitting on the floor and I just want to answer the questions on the tag. If you're interested, then definitely keep on watching. <laughs> the first question says, when did you become a Christian and how long have you been saved? Um, I became... <sighs> Guys, this question is quite tricky because I grew up in the church. I grew up going to church and everything. I remember giving my life to Christ at age 8. The details are very, 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 very somehow in my head because I was really, really young. So I don't even remember exactly what happened the day I got saved. It's been a long time since I decided that, yeah, I want to live for God and stuff. But the catch is I didn't start my relationship with God until I was 16. Like, I was a Christian. Yes, I was a church girl. I used to go to church. I was in... I was very active in the church and everything, but I did not understand what it was like to have a relationship with God until I was 16. So that's when like my journey started and it has had its moments, its ups and downs, but we give glory to God. Okay, the next question says, what's your favorite Bible verse and why? Hmm. Guys, my favorite Bible verse for the longest time, for the longest time was Jeremiah 29 11. For I know the plans I have for you, said the love plans of good are not evil to bring an expected end. That was my favorite Bible verse for the longest time. But there's this verse that's trying to overthrow it. I think it's Isaiah 43 1. It says, um, first is the Lord who formed you, O Jacob, and he who created you. I don't know if I'm mixing this up, mixing this thing up. I don't know if I'm mixing this thing up. I'm going to put it on the screen. Fear not, fire redeemed you. Have called you by name. You are mine. That's the part of it. I love it. I love it so much. I love it so so much. I have so many favorite verses, but I think right now that's my favorite verse. The next one says, "What's your favorite book of the Bible?" Hey, <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> my favorite book of the Bible. Hmm. Hmm. What's my favorite book of the Bible? This is actually very hard. What's my favorite book of the Bible? I don't know. Like, I know I really like... Let me go to the New Testament. The Gospels are pretty much mostly the same. I know I like Romans a lot. Like, when I did a study on Romans, I really liked it. But I can't call it my favorite book. Guys, I don't know. Like, I think I like Genesis a lot too. But I don't... I don't know what my favorite book of the Bible is. Uh, um, I don't know. I really don't know, you guys. I don't know. <laughs> I feel bad. I don't know. I cannot pick. The next question says, who is your favorite Bible character? Definitely Joseph. I think I said this in my chit chat girl with me video. If you haven't seen that video, you are dulling. Anyway, Joseph. No, that's not. That's not why I said it. That's not why I said it. I said it in. I said it in my ask during video. <laughs> I said in my Ask Dorian video, the first ever episode, so yeah, go check it out if you haven't seen it. And check out the second one as well if you haven't seen it. But my favorite Bible character is Joseph, my guy, Joe, my guy. That's my favorite Bible character. The next question says, if you could miss Jesus now, what would your first question or reaction be? See, I'll just be crying. I'm going to just shed tears. I'm just like, Jesus, <laughs> Jesus. Guys, I would not have any questions to ask. Like, for the first few days, okay, it depends on how long I have with him. If I have, like, one hour for, like, 40 minutes, I would just be crying. I will just hug him. And I just, just hug me, please. Just hug me. <laughs> just hug me. <laughs> but, yeah, I would just, like, I would not have any words. I will just be crying and saying thank you. Like, I would just be too emotional. And then if I was to ask him any question... I'll just ask him, how did it feel? Like, I don't think I'm going to ask him anything deep or serious. I'll just be like, how did it feel? Like, how did you feel when you were about to go and die? How did you feel about that? <laughs> but I think that's what I'm going to do if I could meet Jesus right now. Next question is, what is the oddest place you've ever prayed at? Hmm. The oddest, 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 not usual. What's the oddest place I've ever prayed at? 
I don't know, toilet? I guess I, I can pray anyway. Like anywhere, on the road, in the bus, in my class, in the toilet, in the kitchen, anywhere. But I think the place that would be odd is when I go out, like maybe I'm at someone's birthday party and I'm literally praying like, God, oh, please, I need a way to get out of here. <laughs> I need a way to zoom out of here. I don't know, but I feel like, I don't know what would be considered odd because I've prayed, I think I've prayed every single, like, anywhere i can pray anywhere so yeah the next question is what is your favorite christian song fam i don't know <laughs> i don't know what my favorite christian song is one touch i am made whole you have spoken and i know that it is so hey and your children and the children and the children may his presence go before you and behind you and beside you all around you and within you he is with you he is with you in the morning in the evening hey in your coming in your going Next question says, what is your favorite thing about church? What's my favorite thing about church? I think my favorite thing about church is just the fact that a lot of people in church, not everybody, not everybody in church is in church for the right reasons, but a lot of people in church are like-minded, everybody has a focus, everybody has a goal, so yeah, it's easy to just make friends that are like on the same page with you and meet people and just do fellowship. Guys, one thing, okay, the one thing about church that I love is worship guys see I might miss the sermon but please let me not miss the worship I feel I'm one of those people that if I miss the worship part of a service I might as well skip the whole thing because that worship is so important to me and I know that yes you can listen to worship in your house you can play your music and but guys no no there's something about hearing the instruments live, listening to the voices, and being with people and everybody singing together. It's just wonderful. The experience is amazing. I love worship so much. So yes, I think that, that should be my favorite thing about church and the other thing I mentioned. <laughs> Next thing says, are you ready if Jesus were to come tomorrow? Whoosh! <laughs> Guys, if you mean... Am I if like if Jesus has come tomorrow, I'll definitely go to heaven. But I don't think I'm ready to meet Jesus. I don't think I'll be bold enough to look at him, look him in the eye and say, I have done everything you asked me to do. So I don't think I'm quite ready. In that regard, I feel like I still have a lot of things. My assignment is still is still day. So I haven't done every single thing I'm meant to do on earth. So if Jesus had come tomorrow. I'd not be ready in that regard, but my heart is ready. Like sometimes I'm even like Jesus, come now because this world I'm tired. But yeah, <laughs> my heart is ready, but I feel like I still have a lot to do here. So I'll not be bold enough to say, Jesus, I did everything you said we should do. But nah, I haven't I haven't played my part well enough yet. Next one says, um, how do you openly share your faith? Um on my platforms, I feel like God has given me my platforms not only to share the things I like, like like fashion or you know, all those things. Um, I feel like my platforms are also to share the gospel of Christ and to let people see God through my life. And yeah, I just try my best to always to always incorporate God into every single thing I do. So my Instagram here on YouTube, my WhatsApp, like my in our community whatsapp is like your your community people you actually know <laughs> and then i try to leave the gospel and this is the part that is actually very important i try to leave the gospel so that even if i do not open my mouth to tell you anything you can tell that mm, this girl mm, this girl she, there's a way she loves there's a way she cares there's a way she she speaks and encourages you know all those things like i try to leave the gospel and i'm not perfect i'm a work in progress but that's how i share my faith okay and yeah, I just try, I just really try my best. Okay, I won't say I'm doing my best yet, but I just try, I do what I can to yeah, share my faith. Yeah. <laughs> Next one is, when and how do you read the word of God? When? I try to do it every day. Um, I may not do an in-depth study every single day, but I try to read every day. Some days it won't work out because we're human, okay? Some days it doesn't work out, but I try every day. And how? That's when I'm doing Bible study, like I 
I, I go all out. I have like a book. I have books. My brother's always complaining. I'm always getting one journal after the other, one book after the other. So I have books. One for devotional, one for Bible study, Bible study. The one I finished is always there. It's just a lot. So um, I go all out. I have like blue pen, red pen, a highlighter thingy. Ugh, I go all out. I have sticky notes. <laughs> okay. So I study like I'm studying for school. Okay. I study the Bible like I'm studying for school. Like I write points. I try to explain it, explain it in my own terms, how I understand it, what the revelation I'm getting from the verse or the story. The questions I have, I write it there. You know, that's how I study the Bible. So yeah. Next one says, "What is your favorite Christian movie?" <sighs> My favorite Christian movie will be War Room. Guys, I've watched this movie so many times and one room came out in 2015 the first time i watched it was a movie night in my church then when i was 15 years old and yeah i love i love this movie so much i watch it every single year like since then i watch it every single year i've not watched it this year yet and i'm going to watch it i watch. i love war room so much because once you watch it just like almost every christian movie it's it stimulates something in you like it's Gingers used to do something or to pray or to do something and War Room is just very emotional and it, is, it was very relatable to me actually when I watched it So if you haven't seen War Room, you should Next one says, who are your favorite preachers? I've already shared my favorite preachers in another video The how to build your relationship with God, you can go check it out Here, here, it's here, it's actually here. Last question says, what's your favorite thing about being a Christian? Hmm I think my favorite thing about being a Christian is just knowing that someone has my back knowing that i'm not ordinary like i'm just not an ordinary kid like i'm not i'm just not ordinary i have something in me i have someone with me all around me basically i have a friend like god is god is everything to me like he can be your friend your father your teacher anything you want him to be so i think my favorite thing about being a christian is just knowing that i am never alone and there's someone higher than me thank god for that <laughs> there's someone that has plans for me i'm not just on this earth lost like i'm not just lost i feel like oh i don't know what i'm doing in my life <laughs> i don't have those feelings every single time because there's just someone that takes care of me that cares about me that loves me so deeply so yeah i think those are my favorite things about being a christian so guys we've come to the end of this video thank you so much for watching i hope you enjoyed it if you liked it give it a thumbs up okay let me know that you liked it leave a comment below answer all the questions that i answered what's your favorite christian movie what's your favorite christian song you know anything i relate to just let me know in the comments what's your favorite thing about being a christian all the good stuff okay if you haven't subscribed why not why do you want me to cry do you want me to like please <laughs> Please subscribe okay i don't want to start acting drama well please subscribe to my channel i would love to have you here you can watch my other videos if you are still wondering if you want to make that decision or not watch other videos and trust me you subscribe when you are done trust me you subscribe when you're done <laughs> thank you guys so much for watching again and i'll see you in my next video bye